Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 18. Now, if you remember last week, we learnt how to construct and demonstrate the angle at the centre circle theorem. Well, following on from that, this week I thought it would be a good idea to have a look at a little twist with this angle at the centre theorem, where it appears to all go wrong and the world of maths looks like it's crumbling down around us. And this may just be of interest to some of your higher ability students who were very comfortable with the angle at the centre theorem. So, first thing, we need to set up our autograph page as we did last week. So all I've got here is the same circle. I've chucked on three points around the circumference, uh, constructed four line segments, measured a couple of angles, and voila, there's my angle at the centre theorem. Now, hopefully your students are comfortable by now that if that's the angle at the circumference is 60, the angle at the centre will be 120. We'll just double check that they are happy with this, so we'll double click on this angle. Uh, we'll remove the tick by show label, we'll click OK, and we'll just set them up another angle just to make sure they've got it. So if I measure out their 70 degrees there, get the students to predict what the angle at the centre is going to be, double click, click on show label, and it should be no surprise that it's 140 degrees. That's nice. Um, let's double click on that, remove show label, and this time let's give them this one. So let's set it up so the angle there is... 110 degrees and we'll get the students to predict what the angle at the center is going to be well it's dead easy isn't it you just double whatever the angle at the circumference is yeah 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 all over this double click on it show label so 220 degrees should appear here oh 140 degrees what's going on there and now we can pause and get the students to try and think can they explain why on earth this theorem appears to have broken down and what's really nice is that once they've had a chance to think about it for a little bit, you can then take it back a step and see when the theorem appears to go wrong. Well, 63 and 126, that looks fine. Um, let's have a look here. 77 and 154, yeah, no problem. 82, 164, no problem. 180, 90, that was our nice one that we looked at. Angles in a semicircle last week, not a problem. Hey, what's happening here? 96, 168, 100 and 160, something funny is going on. Well, hopefully, pretty quickly, your students will discover that once you go over 180 degrees, autograph starts measuring a different angle. It starts measuring the obtuse angle, when of course it should be measuring the reflex angle on the other side. So if we just take this circumstance here, that's 100 degrees. The angle autograph should be measuring is this angle around that side for the angle at the centre theorem. Now, as long as students know that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees, they should be fairly comfortable in calculating that that angle should be 200 degrees. Well, let's just have a look. If you double click on that angle and you click allow reflex angle and click OK, there it is, 200 degrees. So autograph wasn't letting us down. It's just that the angle in the, at the centre theorem has to be applied to the correct angle very, very carefully. Incidentally, you may have noticed during this demonstration, and you may have noticed yourself, that every now and again, autograph messes you up a little bit, because look at that, 110 degrees and 219 degrees. That's all to do, of course, with the rounding, that it's rounded to no decimal places. So just watch out for that little twist there. So that's angle at the segment theorem with a little sorry, angle at the centre theorem with a little twist. We'll be looking at more circle theorems with little twists over the next couple of weeks. Hope all's well. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.